AB 858, the Financial Literacy Education Bill. Uh, in California, across our nation, uh, financial literacy is a dismally low priority for many students. According to the American Consumer Credit Counseling, the United States ranks 14th on the global list of financially literate countries. This is simply unacceptable. And in my committee, the Banking and Finance Committee, we see the consequences of this every day. A study by George Washington's Global Financial Literacy Excellence Center for Millennials, ages 23 to 35, identified millennials as a group with the lowest level of financial literacy. Only 24% demonstrated basic financial literacy strategies or goals in their lives. This bill seeks to address this problem by making financial literacy materials more accessible to educators throughout the state. AB 858 authorizes the state superintendent of public instruction to convene a financial literacy advisory committee. This committee is tasked with reviewing materials that educators may use to advance financial literacy in our schools. Local educational agencies may access this information through a centralized location on the internet. And also, this is something I would like to stress. This bill will increase financial literacy among our youth by identifying successful curriculum and educational strategies while also disseminating them throughout our state. Like I said, as chair of the Banking Finance Committee, many of the issues we work on from uh, subprime lending uh, to fraud and abuse within our financial sector uh, to people just not knowing what their credit scores or basic uh, real things that we take for granted often about being able to balance a checkbook or understanding good debt versus bad debt are things that could easily be overcome through more financial literacy education in our curriculum at very early grade levels. So with that, I respectfully ask for your I vote.